guys how's it going so thanks for, thanks for checking out my channel and uh, checking out this beautiful car I'm about to show you it's a 1973 Mustang Mach 1 it's a pretty rare car I'll go through the options list here momentarily with it the owner did not want to be filmed and but he's letting me film the car I had a respect for him um, I'm not going to disclose the location of the car or the license plate or his name uh, to me it's a privacy thing and a lot of people have an issue with being filmed and want to be put on the internet, and I get that. So I do everything I can in my power to make it as as secret as possible for the people who own the car. Um, so with that being said, I have a 1973 Mustang Mach 1. They made 35,439, I think, Mustang Mach 1s in 73. This is 168 made of that that many and uh it's very rare it's painted medium blue metallic it is the factory color for this car and it's a very rare color option for this car so the only 168 people chose that option in 1973. by 1973 the epa had their claws dug in on emissions and the cars were highly detuned Compression ratios were way down, horsepower numbers were down, torque was down. This car in 1971, I think, was 390 horsepower. Uh, by 1973, it's 266 horsepower from the factory. I don't remember the compression. I don't remember the compression ratio it was compared to 73 and 71, but I know it's drastically different. Uh, the engine has been built on this car. It is a numbers matching engine, but it has been built. It is 185 to 190 compression per cylinder, which is pretty high. Uh, the owner did install a, a ram air hood on it, which for those of you who know Fords know that, that was an option in 1973. It wasn't 71, not 73, but he went ahead and added it and it is functional. It does work. And you can feel when that kit's on, when the butterfly is open. It's it's pretty fun actually. Uh, the, the owner also installed Posi Track in the rear. New leaf springs, new shots. The car came from the factory with blue interior, which makes the car very rare. It was a blue on blue car. Only 17 were made blue on blue. Uh, the owner has since changed out the interior to black, which normally I like to keep the car as authentic as possible, but the black interior looks really good in this car with that blue exterior. And I, I think he made the right choice. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the engine. I'm gonna walk around the car, talk about the car, some other stuff he's done to. I'm gonna show you the inside. I mean, that's all done. We're going to go for a cruise. We're going to go uh, for a ride in this, this Mustang. And so stick around. I'm going to change cameras here and we'll keep on with the video. All right. I'm going to do a walk around first of the car. So the 73 came with the optional chin spoiler on the Mach 1. as, as a feature of the Mach 1. Uh, for those who don't know how Ford came to be, that she introduced the chin spoiler on the Torino Cobra Twister Special. And that is, after that, that's how the rest of the chin spoilers came to be on these Mach 1s. Like I said, the car did not come originally with Ram Air Hood. The owner added it. And uh, I like the feature. You know, it's just a, the Ram Air Hood is just one of those features that muscle car had, whether it be Ram Air, the Shaker Hood, the Grabber air grabber hood whatever mopar chevy pontiac ford what they all have their own fe uh, special feature so you can see it's unique to the mach 1 1971 1971 ford redesigned the mustang uh, i'm gonna say it's a four time they redesigned it so people might, might argue with me on that 64 through 66 was the same 67 through 68 was the same and they redesigned it at 69 and then again in 71 and 71 the car got a lot wider got longer got heavier so something to remember is the honeycomb so the honeycomb grill in the back as far as i know i think all mock ones had that i mean even the even the new mock ones of today still have the honeycomb in the back that is always a feature of the mock one has the spoiler 
and it is adjustable to some extent if you want to adjust it um, the owner put it where he liked it out as far as how it looks dual exhaust 15 inch magnum wheels Now, I don't know if these are the ones that came stock on the Mustang or not. I, I don't want to lie to you and say they are. I know he, uh, they're new, so, but they look sharp. They look really good on that car. It's a driver. It's not a, uh, it's not a trailer queen. They just driven quite often. So let me show you what's under the hood here. So like I said before, it is vacuum operated. It does work. The Ram Air does work on this car. It was a factory AC car. We went ahead and added a new compressor to it. So I'm not sure what the compression ratio is on this car as far as like eight to five, 10 to one, what I don't know. But I know it is 185 to 190 per cylinder psi which is a lot most cars got about 135 in them so it is the number it is the factory engine numbers matching engine it has not been changed or replaced or through the time a lot of these cars back in the day they were hot rotted around, the engine went pop, it blew them out, blew them up. The guys would just pull the engine to the junkyard and get one that had a good engine and put it in there. So that's what makes the value of a numbers matching car so much higher because it's very rare to find a uh, numbers matching car. There's not many of them out there. So. Close this hood. What you look at from this angle. This car turns a lot of heads. And back in the day, this car was not one that was highly sought after. Um, it's kind of always considered the ugly car of the Mustangs, especially the coupe. And then they replaced it with the Grande and the Mustang 2, which don't give me a start on the Mustang 2 and the Grande. It's, <laughs> I think they're by far the ugliest Mustangs ever made, but that's just my opinion. So you can see how the glass, I'm, I'm have you try to remember this. The glass is, looks real big here. Wait till we get inside the car and I'll show you how tiny it actually is to see out of. Here's the trunk. Not much room in there and I will sh I'll talk about this and show it here at the end of the video that is all the numbers from the Marty report and I'll explain what the Marty report is so let's hop inside this thing all right so I said he went with the black interior, the deluxe, deluxe interior. Remember when I said, remember the back window? That's it. I mean, it's real tiny. It's hard to see out of. That was one of the complaints a lot of people talked about back in the day was how hard it was to see out of it. Automatic car. It's original c transmission in it. When he bought the car, somebody went ahead and added the white gauges and he wasn't sure if it was an option on the car he did a bunch of research and he finally figured out that somebody just put the inlays in it uh, this car did not come with white gauges i don't think any mustang came with white gauges during that time and there you got your lighter that does work your one inch washer and your lights simple 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 ac does work it's down there you got your dash, your defroster, and your floor. Cold, 
to your hot off to high the radio does work Got your typical uh, speaker in the front and speaker in the back, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna hop out of here so you can see the wood grain. That's sharp looking. Let's see oh, what's in the glove box. Bunch of nonsense. Can't you how deep it is? Bat seat, typical, typical Mustang. You don't have much for room in the bat seat. And trying to clean that window is a giant pain in the butt because you gotta get way up in there like a monkey, upside down monkey trying to clean it. But yeah, just the that black interior really brought the whole car together as far as the blue goes uh, I think the the medium blue that came for the interior would have been it just wouldn't have matched as good as the black especially when you got the flat black hood and the, and the black on the door so let me talk about the Marty report real quick let me pull this out so we can talk about this I didn't want to close that. Oh well. All right, Marty report. Oh. So, if you don't know, if you have a Ford, you can get a Marty report. You will. I'm not sure if it's Marty.com. If you just Google Ford Mar Marty report, it'll tell you how to get there to get a Marty report for your vehicle. And what you do is you pay a fee and they will actually pay a fee, send your VIN number, and then in return, you get back this thing I'm about to show you. I'm gonna go through it and tell you how kind of it all works so you, you kind of know. Pontiac has the same thing, it's called the PHS documents or Pontiac Historical Society, uh, similar concept. You pay a fee and uh, you get you send a VIN number and you get a bunch of documentation for your car back. So let me show you let me show you this. So that is basically your door plate. So shows the date is made, vehicle weight front and rear, total weight. This is what this is what's standard on your door. And this car actually does have it on the door still today. But so you get the door plate. You get how many of each is made of your car. So it tells you how many total are made, how many of them are Mach 1s, how many can a 351 four valve engine, how many have the C six transmissions, what color, how many were made. How many have the interior options, your AC, radios, and belted tires? Only four of the Mach 1s came with belted tires. I'm not sure uh, what that is. I'll have to do some research on that and get back to you. Now, I'm not sure if it's only four total or, yeah, it's four total out of the total Mustangs were made. Only four came with that tire option. So that's pretty rare right there just by itself. And this is a copy of the window sticker. This would have told you everything about it at the time. You see the options, the $107 option for the 351, the sled ship cruise matic transmission was 203, the wide oval tires. $62.05 option. The air conditioning was $367 option. AM radio, $59 option. 
Total options 800 bucks for this car, almost. And then down there it shows who who bought it, where it got sold from. This car came originally from my bank. I'll probably totally butcher that name, Texas. And over here is the Elite Marty Report. That just goes into more detailed information about the car on top of everything else. So this here shows you when it was ordered, scheduled for the build, and when it was sold. So the car was ordered, the the, the uh, Ford got the order sheet 11 28 1972. The car sold on December 26, 1972, literally a day after Christmas. That's quite the Christmas present, you know it. And it shows you how many had that paint code total, all of them, how many came, came with the paint code with the trim, engine codes, and all of that. So, pretty, pretty rare. But if you have a classic car, the Marty Report, I highly recommend, if you have a classic Ford, the Marty Report, I highly recommend you do it. If you have a Pontiac, I highly recommend you do the Pontiac Trust Worker Society. Um, because people can argue about the car all day long, but that's not how, they didn't come with that, that's not an option, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's right there in the Marty Report, and that's directly from Ford. So, it's a nice thing to have to uh, talk about your uh, your car. And that is that is also a great conversation piece at car shows. Um, what we'll actually do, we we'll actually pop the hood, and that will sit right in line with the hood latch, and it sits in there. And people will come by and they'll actually look at it and read it and uh that may have actually got us to win a car show your stay with that i don't know but it's neat people like people like to read that stuff so let me hop inside here and let's go for a cruise well first i gotta get the rest of my stuff packed up then we'll go for a cruise Hey guys, real quick, I just want to touch base what I meant about four cars that had those tires. What I meant by that was out of all the cars that were built with the options that this car is built with, only four of them came with that tire uh, feature. And what that was is a Goodyear tire that had raised white letters on the tire itself and the tires extra wide. That's all it was. Um, like I said, only four of those complete optioned out Mach 1s like what this car is came with that option. So I don't know if it really adds any rarity to the car, seeing how they've been changed out way down the road, but that's what that but that's what that is. So again, the video is almost done. Thanks for checking it out. squeaking it seems like some place somewhere squeaks I think this is coming from the dash I don't know it does get annoying I'm not gonna lie this guy's going 20 miles an hour does handle really well I said the owner put posi track in the back of it he changed out the stirring bots for a uh, quicker ratio of stirring bots it's more modernized as far as he's barely churning the wheel and you see right there these are pretty sharp churns and it uh it takes that churn flawlessly without any issues I mean, I'm going to do a quarter churn on this car before you put all that in it definitely was more along the lines of over half half a stern will get churned through that churn and it had a lot of play in it so steering box is always a nice option especially it's it's not really an option it's a nice add-on to your to
to your uh, vehicle. It's a nice replacement. So if you got a lot of slop in your car and the stern was all over the place, you change suspension, it's still not what you want. Change out the stern bonds. I promise you it's worth every dime. Uh, now he's churning. So let him go. I'm not really doing a hot rod around this car. It's not my car. Uh, I know how the owner drives it, but I'm not the owner, so and, uh, I just I don't I don't drive people's cars. I like if I don't own them, you know, I'm not gonna stole it. Sure, it's a respect for the car, respect for the owner. Oh, squirrel, squirrel! <laughs> Wanted the camera pick that up. But it is just a nice driving, just cruising around car. I, I, I really enjoy driving this car. I, dri I drove it before he added a bunch of stuff to it and everything he, he replaced. Definitely made a big difference on the car. And uh, I think it was worth every penny. Uh, if I was to do it myself, I'd do the same add-ons. Oklahoma roads, they're not very, uh, they're not friendly, man. They, they beat you up. So, I'm sure if I was on a smooth road, you wouldn't hear any squeaking, but there's a lot of flats in the body and stuff just from these roads. They just, they do, they beat these cars up. 